Welcome back to another video. We're out here back at Staten Island Airfield for another antenna test. This time we're gonna do something exactly like we did before. And I'm gonna take this Baby Hawk HD, which I used when I did the Goggles 2 versus Goggles 1 comparison. And I wanna try the Cadexus stock Cherry antenna versus the stock Walk Snail uh, antenna that came with this Vista originally. I wanna see if this antenna makes any difference. And I'm gonna do that same flippy floppy kind of thing out in the middle of the field go down each of the pathways do that little power loop line it is a little windier than it was before so we'll see how this little guy does but i want to see how it performs with the goggles too with this antenna does this antenna make a difference compared to that stock walk snail antenna not sure at least anecdotally i feel like it does make a difference like the walk snail antenna doesn't perform as well but i want to know for sure i want to try it here in this place where i'm very familiar and have done pretty much the same test before with the same drone with the walk snail antenna we're going to see how that goes and if that goes well i am then going to swap to something that's a little more extreme here i have the ort 5.8 gigahertz little like linear polarized or linear non-polarized antenna the goggles 2 actually has linear antennas both in the front front in the front of the goggle and in these little stocks up here Will this make a difference? Will this perform the same as this? On a drone like this or bigger, probably not gonna be a big deal, but if you have a little itty bitty DJI drone like this guy right here, the difference in weight between this CADX antenna and this ORT antenna could be a make or break piece. For both of these tests, I'm gonna run the same 650 milliamp hour 4S from iFlight, the full sends, and we're gonna see how she do. And like with previous testing, I'm actually going to be flying both of these flights on channel one because that seems to be the worst channel for this spot. Usually I prefer channel three when I'm out here flying, but today we're trying to see how the performance compares. Do little flippy floppies. And it's super windy out if you can't tell already. So ignore some shakes and rocks and rolls. I promise I didn't have too much caffeine today. But let's roll down here. And down here, I feel like I'm getting the same or maybe slightly better. Uh, I'm going to go with slightly better just because last time I feel like I couldn't see as much. And now there's so much more vegetation grown in since the last time I did this test with that walk snail antenna that I'm guessing it's probably a little worse. And also, again, I do feel like I can see more definition in the leaves and in the trees and in the grass. There's some blockiness. So not perfect, but I mean, pretty freaking good. Whoa, that's an ugly power loop. Do, 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 do. Now we're going to cruise down this little path right here. I am seeing currently 13 megabits per second. That yellow bar at the bottom is already coming out. This is performing as good as I remember it being. Actually, it's probably a little worse. I think this is probably far worse. And here down at the bottom kind of returns, comes back up to like 18. Again, I feel like this might be worse than last time and I would accrue uh, I would attribute that to the fact that there's more plant life. Let's cruise back up. Oh, and that is just unflyable. Oh, that is bad. Okay, I know that this spot well enough, so this is kind of, there we go. Whoa, okay. So that was pretty terrible. Overall, I would say that that was either the same or in some cases better, especially when I was out in front, I would say better. Let me come back, land. Let's swap the antenna over to that ORT antenna and see if it's worse or better. I'm curious. Because if I can save a whole bunch of weight on these kind of quads, these little like three, three and a half inch and under, that's a really, really big deal. A couple of grams is a significant percentage of the overall weight of the drone when you're talking about a 100 gram drone. Obviously with a five inch that weighs 700 grams, saving five grams here and there, not as big a deal. Got it all hooked up. You can see that little itty bitty antenna there. 
Let's see how this thing performs. We're gonna do that same loop once again. Let me get up in the air and we'll get going. Once again, 50 megabits per second, channel one. Holy cow. I mean, I'm not basing this entire thing on just the performance here in this open air right in front of me, but uh, I expected a little bit more performance dip. Let's see how this does. Uh, I don't know that this is better. Okay. Uh, I don't know that this is better or worse, to be completely honest. Little updraft gust there. Same spot, getting a little, uh, and also don't mind these uh, vibrations. Most of that's just wind. Power loop is probably the cleanest one I've done so far, and here is the real test. Uh, so this is about 45 degrees uh, from me. Sorry, about 90 degrees from me. Ooh, and there it goes, nine. Whoa, okay. This is nearly unflyable going down towards this bottom section. Still pretty chunky, hovering at 17. They come back, came back a little bit. It's not great. I mean, at least I can see and kind of fly it. This is pretty rough. Ooh. Oh, if I didn't know where this channel was, I couldn't see it. Oh, this is just, oh, there you go. Picked up a leaf friend. Okay, okay. Let's come back. Overall, I would say that this antenna performed surprisingly well. It definitely did as well straight in front and through the power loop and flying near me around in the front vague area. As soon as I went 90 degrees from me and went down that path, which is always a reception nightmare, uh, unless you're flying the O3 system and then it's a little better. But uh, on the return trip, when this antenna was completely hidden behind this battery, it was basically a no-go. So I would say overall, I do think that Cadex Cherry antenna is my favorite out of the group that I've tested so far. Uh, I will say that the, um, I just saw it a second ago, on both my Terraplane, up oh, there it is, on my Terraplane, I have a true RC Singularity, and I do think that is better than that Cherry antenna from the Cadex Rush FPV collaboration that comes stock with many Vistas. But overall, I would say, Pretty much if you're running either the walk snail or that cherry antenna, you're good. You don't have to switch. If you do break, I would lean you towards that cherry antenna because I think it is a little better. Um, but if you're flying close to you and you don't need crazy amounts of range and you want something that's dirty light and super simple, that ORT antenna actually performs surprisingly well. Overall, it wouldn't run it if you're doing anything far away or behind buildings or behind anything. But it does okay, surprisingly. So again, building a lightweight DJI rig, Definitely check out an antenna like this. I know TrueRC has one. Obviously, ORT has this one. Pretty good overall. As always, down in the links below, I have a full uh, list of all the antennas that I've tried and links to them on Amazon. Those are affiliate links. Uh, they basically give me a little kickback. They don't cost you anything. Thank you, radio. <laughs> um, yeah. In the comments below, let me know, have you tried a bunch of different antennas with the Vista system and what has been your experience? Do you have a preference? Do you have a favorite? I would love to know. Uh, as always, if you've liked this video and like these kind of tests, hit that like button. And as always, as every YouTuber says, please hit the subscribe button. It helps me in this stupid algorithm, it helps me grow this channel and do more things, hopefully crazier things in the future. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Thank you all for joining me on this video, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.